Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing more unit reviews. This is just going to be your typical old unit review. I haven't done one of these in a while and I felt it was about time we did another one. If you guys would like to get your own unit reviewed, all you have to do is join my discord. The link is in the description below and follow the steps from there. Without further ado, let's get in to the video. First up here, we have Althea, and they want me to review their Eula. Level 90 Eula, 2.2k attack is a lot. I imagine you probably have Song of Broken Pines. Yes, you do. Good choice. This is her best installed weapon. It's going to give you a crazy high base attack and a little bit of physical damage. You're also going to have her best installed artifact set too. Very nice. Four piece pale flame is a very, very good set for her. Constellation. Oh gosh. Okay. Constellation six. This won't affect our ratings, but I do like to keep in mind that we are dealing with a whale player. That means your artifacts should be pretty decent if you're spending this much money on the game. And talents are 10, 10, 10 so far. This Eula would be a perfect 10, but it's gonna come down to artifacts. Let's see what we are working with here. I'm expecting some god pieces from an AR-60 whale. First piece is pretty good. Definitely not a god piece, but it's not a bad piece at all. Got a lot of attack, a lot of crit rate, and some crit damage. Pretty good piece. Feather uh, is essentially a perfect piece. Wow, yeah, no, that's a very, very nice piece. Again, crit rate, crit damage, attack, recharge. Can't get much better than that. Preferably may want to see a bit more crit damage, but other than that, very good piece. Sands is another really good piece. Again, none of these are god pieces so far. They don't go into god territory, but they're all like very, very solid pieces. However, EM isn't all that good on Eula, and defense is, you know, you prefer another stat. But what are you going to do? Attack sands are rare. You take what you can get. An onset goblet. This cannot be that good, right? No, it's pretty damn good. 14 crit rate is nothing to scoff at. Plus and more crit damage and ER. That is a very, very nice onset goblet. You do not see many pieces like that. That is a very, very nice piece. Lastly, the hat. Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. 62 crit damage, 15 crit rate. Oh gosh. That is a disgusting piece. Luckily, the other three stats are dead, but that crit rate should be illegal, man. Let's see your split. Ooh, 62, 200 is really good on a Eula. That is really, really good for a Eula. You do not see many Eulas with more than 200 crit damage just because you don't use a crit rate, crit damage weapon on her. And I don't believe she scales with the stat either. I think she scales with physical damage, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe she does. 104 physical damage, really good stuff. 115 recharge should be enough. I don't think her talent costs all that much, if I remember correctly. Very, very good Eula. There is literally nothing that you could probably perfect about this build other than maybe getting a couple god rolls like maybe a god roll flower with like a ton of crit damage or god roll feather other than that it, it's essentially perfect it is on the brink of perfect however it isn't perfect so we are going to give it a 9.8 out of 10 let's move on to the next build Next up here, we have Chenza, and they want me to review their Gon Yu. Level 90 Gon Yu, 2.2k attack, very good stuff. 56 EM, maybe a little bit low if you're going something like Melt Gon Yu, but I guess we'll see. Weapon is Almost Bow R5. <laughs> oh, this is just the whale episode. Oh, no. I imagine you're probably C6. Damn straight you're C6. Oh, goodness. This is the whale episode today, bro. It's just going to be all whales. Okay. Artifacts. Four-piece blizzard. Okay, so you are going freeze on you. Therefore, the EM doesn't matter all that much. Talents are going to be 10, 10. No, that's 10, 9, 9, isn't it? Yeah, that's 10, 9, 9. Not a perfect 10, 10, 10, really? Even though you C6 and R5 her? That's shocking. Is Are all your characters C6? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh my goodness, how much money do you have to spend on this game? Oh my gosh. Okay. Fair enough then. Fair enough. I would like to see 10, 10, 10, but what are you going to do? Can't get everything you want. Let's see some of these artifacts. Probably just a ton of crit damage as I imagine what we're going to be stacking here. Let's start with the hat. Very nice hat. Got some crit rate, got some ER. EM isn't as necessary, but it's still a good stat. And a little bit of flat HP. Flower, a lot of crit damage. That's exactly what you want to see on the Blizzard Strayer set. A little bit of recharge there as well. Very good stuff. Again, a lot of crit damage. That is a five crit roll piece. That is a very, very good piece. I think that's like 45, 
46 crit value. Very nice piece there. Goblet is another really nice piece. I think that's another five crit roller or maybe four. I can't tell. Either way, it's another nuts piece with a ton of crit damage. And the goblet, oh my gosh, you have like 20 crit damage on every single piece. How? 24, 22, 25, 27, and then obviously 62 on the hat. That's a very good Ganyu. Let's see the split. 44, but it should be fine because you're running Blizzard Strayer, plus of Ganyu's passives, plus you have her C6, which I'm sure gives her more crit rate. Honestly, 44 is probably more than enough. 120 recharge and 61 cryo damage bonus. Yeah, this Ganyu is nuts. I think you probably have upwards of like 100% crit rate most of the time with Blizzard Strayer, plus Ganyu's passive talent and i think one of her constellations here gives her more crit rate i don't remember which one though so yeah this is essentially the perfect ganyu the only things are like there are a lot of dead stats on these pieces like this one has defense percent two flat stats here and then some hp here other than that it is ba this is as close as perfect as you're gonna see oh i'm gonna have to give it like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 it's like just there it's like the, on the brink but there's just a couple dead stats that maybe bring it down a tiny bit let's move on to the next build next up we're gonna get off our whale high and we're gonna go down to a, a bit of a lower spender because we're gonna be dealing with an amber this time so you can't really whale uh for an amber unless you have like an r5 polar star or something anyways 1900 attack 229 em it's also really nice a little bit of a nice bonus there gonna be running skyward harp r2 okay maybe a mini whale then that's a very good weapon for Amber. Are you going to be running like main DPS physical Amber with Skyward Harp? Oh gosh. Wanderer's Troop. Oh, okay. So you're going for charge shot Amber then. Or maybe support Amber? No, because it makes sense for charge shot Amber because you're using the Wander set. No, that makes sense. Constellation is two. Not rolling on standard banner, I see. And talents are 877. Seven. Definitely going with charge shot main Amber. That's interesting. I do like that though. I appreciate a main DPS Amber. I think physical is a little bit better because you can get off really fast hits with Skyward Harp. So I think physical may be a little bit better. If you want to go charge shot Amber, you know what? You go charge shot Amber. Let's see these pieces. Very nice sands. Got up some crit rate for damage. A little bit of EM. Very good stuff. A lot of EM on this piece. No crit rate though. So it brings it down a little bit, but it's still a pretty nice piece. Hat is going to have 10 crit rate, 19 EM. Got EM on every piece. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, got two dead stats on this piece though. Flower, uh, more crit damage, some attack and EM. Again, EM on every piece. Very good. I like seeing EM on every piece, especially if you're going to be running her with different elemental reactions and then crit rate crit damage and then two dead stats this piece is a little mid to be honest this is definitely the worst of the pieces can definitely use a better improvement there let's see the split so we're gonna be rocking 55 202 uh 55 may be a little low i don't think there's any passive crit rate that amber really gets so 55 i would definitely try to get that up a little bit higher maybe 70 60 if you can uh 112 recharge i don't know the exacts on amber's energy cost but i feel like it might want to be a little higher like 130 140 maybe then again if you're running charge on amber maybe you don't need it as much uh and then 46 pyro damage bonus a pretty decent amber definitely not the best one i've ever seen i appreciate the new skin though everybody likes the new amber skin a, a lot of these pieces could be improved more specifically this feather could really use an improvement would like to see a swap off this piece other than that though constellations we don't take it into account talents are a little bit low if you want to get the perfect score you go for 10 10 10 but it's an all-around good amber we are going to give them an 8 out of 10. let's move on to the next unit Next up here, we have Toast, and they want me to review their Yai Miko. Level 90 Yai Miko, 1900 attack. Are we going to see her best in slot weapon? Yes, we are. Kagura's Verity R5. Pro not it can't be every person this episode. How? How is every person the most Omega Ultra Whale we've ever seen? Oh my gosh. Artifacts, two-piece Thundering Fury, two-piece Glad, and another C6. Oh my goodness, what is happening today? I didn't know I had this many whale viewers. I thought every one of my viewers was free to play. What happened? Talents, 10, or no, sorry, 999, not the 10, 10, 10. I, I never understand how you can C6 a character. This is like $1,000. This is probably like two thousand dollars and then you just can't be bothered to get the 10 10 10 which is free uh it makes no sense to me but let's see some of these artifacts if you're an ar60 whale you better have some damn good pieces let's see 
21 7 uh it's a decent piece but there's two dead stats there and you rolled into one of them it's a it's an okay piece it's okay goblet is on set electro damage that is for being on set that's really nice 29 crit damage plus 40 em yeah that's a really really nice piece unfortunately some defense what are you gonna do hat a really good hat that is a very very nice hat especially for yaimiko when you're running her with different dendro comps that em is gonna come in huge plus you got a bit of crit damage and er very nice piece flower oh uh it's okay a lot of crit rate which is nice and then you got some em min crit damage roll and then a little bit of defense not a terrible piece not the best i've seen either but overall pretty good and the off piece is going to be the feather and it is insane what the heck is this that has to be, that's 50 cv that's 50 crit value that is insane that is an insane feather i don't even know how you get a piece like that other than maybe wailing until you get the right artifacts you want that's nuts okay let's see let's see the split 90 to 19 oh my gosh that's crazy that's a really good split for yaimiko plus 111 recharge 61 electro damage bonus this is insane the whales have reigned supreme today i can tell these are some really good pieces the only piece that could maybe use a little bit of improvement is this one got one flat stat there but other than that all these pieces are absolutely insane you have the perfect constellation i can't give you the perfect 10 because you don't have 10 10 10 but i can still put you up there we are gonna say this guy miko is a solid 9.7 out of 10. next up we have crows out and they want me to review their level 90 dia 28k hp 1.5k attack pretty good stuff there i'm interested to see if you're running like burst dps dia or if you're gonna be running support dia uh, you got mailed flower i've never seen that weapon used for her before interesting to be honest i don't 100 know what this weapon does i think it's definitely a support based weapon though but it has an em substat uh you did get refinement fine but i think that was free from the event artifacts are gonna be four piece crimson which a flame so i am imagining you're probably gonna be going like support to you which is perfectly fine i personally prefer burst dps but support works just as well constellation one okay probably just lost a 50 50 which is fine can't win them all talents are gonna be six six eight okay so you you kind of are doing a bit of both uh if you do want to do more a support based dia you would uh level up her skill over her burst because her skill is going to be the thing that you're using the most but her burst isn't bad either uh except if you are using her burst i i personally like to use it with like things like four piece emblem or maybe like a two piece uh, crimson witch of flame two piece glad stuff like that the four piece is still good but i don't like it as much as four piece emblem when using the burst but if you're going to support dia uh then it's not a bad choice that being said her support skills are pretty limited since she is a pretty niche character who was completely ruined in development but we move past it feather is pretty good got some crit rate crit damage two dead stats though on the bottom sands is going to be a way too much crit rate oh my gosh 16 crit rate that is nuts plus 35 em plus crit damage that's a really good piece goblet is going to be on set okay this looks like about the onset goblets i have on my account not the greatest piece in the world uh but you take what you can get it, this is definitely going to be a piece that you replace uh, as you get further into your account the hat is going to be seven crit rate uh, 11 hp hp isn't bad for dia uh it's fine unfortunately you did get two flat stats there though so it's not the greatest thing in the world and the flower uh it's pretty decent unfortunately two flat attack rolls again but other than that pretty decent piece let's see the split here you're gonna be rocking 4173 a little low on the crit rate there not what you want to see um you got a bit of energy recharge some pyro damage bonus yeah it's not a terrible dia um, I would recommend strongly going crit rate hat over crit damage hat. Even if you do have 170 crit damage, you can't make use of that crit damage if you're not critting. So, well, that's not the greatest thing in the world. Your HP is at a good spot. 30k is decent for Dia. 1500 attack is also fine. 182 EM. Uh, it just depends on what comp you're running her in. If you're doing reaction based Dia, then you do need EM. If you're just doing like mono pyro for example then obviously em doesn't matter as much but it just really depends on the team comps you're going with i can't give you uh, a too high of a score though because uh you did ignore her talents somewhat also the level six normal attack is the complete waste i kind of neglected over that there's there's no reason to level up her normal attack unless you're doing like some sort of like weird techie bennett c6 build with her other than that there's really no use for her normal attack but it's an all-around it's a decent dia i think i'm gonna give it a solid seven out of ten 
Let's move on to the next build. And for our last review of the day, we have Sitri, and they want me to review their Yelon. Level 90 Yelon, 1k attack, but 40k HP is a lot for a Yelon. That is really good. Weapon is gonna be the R. No, not again. Not again. Not again. Why? I swear I'm not doing this intentionally. How is every one of my viewers a whale? Okay, R5 Aqua Simulacra. Oh gosh, I don't want to know how much that cost. Artifacts, four piece emblem of severed fate. Great choice, best in slot. C6, sure. Sure, yeah, C6. I know the Yalon C6 is, like, that's like, isn't that like the best C6 in the entire game or something? It's like insane and like nuts. Yeah, good for you. I'm happy for you. Man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and the talents are 10, 10, 10. So far, a pretty perfect Yalon. You really can't get better than that. I mean, C6 Yalon can basically destroy every last thing in the entire game by herself. You could probably run a no artifact Yalon and just have the C6 and still one shot everything in the game. But you know what? We will rate the artifacts anyways. Flower is nutty. That's a really nutty flower. You almost have 40 CV with 11 recharge. That's a very, very nice piece. Also, HP is a good stat for Yalon. This is essentially a perfect piece. You can't get better than this. Maybe one more crit damage roll. Other than that, perfect piece. Feather, another another perfect piece. Another perfect piece. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be our first 10 out of 10? It's looking like it. This is another really perfect piece. You can't get better than this, almost. The Sands, I'm going to say this is perfect because it's HP percent. So you could only get flat HP. This is another perfect piece. Oh my gosh. This might be a 10 out of 10 build. This might be a 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. 10 crit rate, 13 crit damage, recharge. Holy moly. It's going to come down to the hat and the goblet. Let's see the hat first. Defense percent, but the thing is, you already got HP percent. You didn't roll into defense percent. You got two recharge, two crit damage, one HP. Oh my gosh. I would still I still think this is 10 out of 10 territory because there's really not another stat that you could replace this with other than maybe attack percent, but it's like the most little niche thing ever that I just don't think it matters. But the thing that's going to come down to is the goblet. Does it retain the 10 out of 10? Oh my gosh, it does. Oh my gosh, it... How do you get a piece like this? In what realm of... Oh my gosh, this is nuts. What's your split? 100, 200, that's insane. Plus 178 recharge. This may, this may be the best build we've ever seen in unit review history. But you know what? You still got to respect it. This Yalon is, without a doubt, a 10 out of 10 build. And with that, that is going to be the end of our episode for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.